High Earth Energies, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching in today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what you, um, what the universe wants for you to know right now, okay? So what the universe would like for you to focus on, what areas of your life needs um, needs more of your energy and focus. It is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. Uh, for those of you interested in a personal reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed just below the video here. Okay. Okay, I feel like for a lot of you, you need to really focus on love. Okay, the love and the connection that you have with yourself. Um, and I feel like you need to pay a little bit more closer attention to your choices. The love and the connection that you have with yourself has a, like it's got a direct impact on your relationship that you have with yourself and also on the relationships that you have without others. The more that you love yourself, the more that you choose yourself, the more that you um, understand yourself, the better your relationship will be with yourself and also with people around you and the world around you, okay? Self-love is so important. Um, so the focus is more creating a harmonious uh, relationship, a balanced and harmonious relationship with yourself and in turn with people around you, okay? It will make you more confident and it will also, also help you create better relationships with people in your life because, you know, when you learn to love and accept your life, uh, yourself, it's so much easier for you to love and accept the people around you or love and accept people into your life. So practicing self-love, self-love, um, absolutely helps you feel better about yourself and you know speaking of feeling better about yourself it also helps you feel like emotionally uplifted and like connected as well um focusing on yourself is not selfish guys okay by the way you know it, it, it isn't selfish at all some people um tend to think that you know it might be a self um a selfish thing to do but there is nothing wrong with putting energy into yourself and into the relationships the relationship you have with yourself and with your loved ones okay so it's all about turning your attention um inwards and then also turning your attention toward you know people around you okay um people that need your love and people that need your intimacy and your companionship here okay so you need to focus on yourself and by focusing on yourself you'll need to pursue the needs that you have right now As I was saying, focusing on yourself is not selfish. In fact, it's a very selfless, uh, it, yeah, it's a selfless act. It's an act of self-love, really. Um, but some of you have been in the habit of maybe focusing on other people too much, okay? Maybe you, uh, you know, have give, been giving too much of your time and your energy to other people. Maybe you've been, you know, too focused on people around you and not enough focus on yourself. You need to get better acquainted with yourself. So I think the... You know what's really important now is returning the focus to yourself finding out who you are trying to foster and cultivate a better relationship with yourself if some of you are feeling a little bit uncertain about your identity or about who you are or about what it is that you want to be um you know you you, you need to get some clarity because without familiarity it can be you know familiarity with us to like who you are as a person you can't do much to achieve your goals right you can't do much to achieve your goals or even you know get your needs met or attract certain people um, into your life or even live life according to you know your goals and your values um there have been some significant events in your life and maybe recently or maybe those events that are still lingering like for example um i mean some of these events definitely have caused you pain and suffering like heartbreaks okay relationships that have failed friendships that haven't worked out um you know sibling rivalries anything like that these events um have been very significant and have had a really big emotional impact on your life okay um they're prompting growth the reason why they're so painful and uncomfortable is they're prompting growth okay so the universe is asking for you to focus on yourself so that you can grow through what you're going through 
um, and that you can heal okay so focus on yourself so that you can heal what needs healing um, there are certain in whatever it is that you're going through it's asking for you to take a step back so if you're going through a heartbreak or you know um, an emotionally difficult time in your life or just a challenging time in your life or if you've been triggered and there are certain memories that are flooding back to you um, you need to um, you know it, it's it's affecting your well-being it's affecting your sense of worth it's affecting the relationship you have with yourself and with others but you need to absolutely confront okay confront um, what it is that needs healing or what it is that you know needs paying close attention to because what's happening right now is the universe is giving you this time and this illumination is calling into questions things you never knew about yourself aspects of your identity that are emerging or re-emerging or things that are you're just finding out for the first time like just how brave and resilient you are or you know uh, some identity um, as well some identity traits make sure what you're make sure what you're seeking is really what you want okay because you've got the knight of wands energy here and what happens is um you know sometimes people do things that they don't necessarily want and i'll explain what i mean for example sometimes you know a lot of people care, okay, and most people actually care about the opinions of others, especially their loved ones, their connecting energies. And what happens is they don't they don't necessarily do what they want they you know, they don't necessarily do what it is that they want to do, but they sort of end up doing what their family or their friends suggest that they do. Okay? Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know, accepting guidance, but make sure that, you know, what you're seeking is what you really want, if that makes sense. Because for some of you, and the reason I say this, because it's all circling back to you, okay? you Everything starts with you and your decisions. The relationships that you have in your life, the, you know, the circumstances you have, all have been a result of your choice, of your energy, of your vibration, okay? So it's helpful to get insight from your loved ones, and I know a lot of you, you know, um, you really care about what your loved ones have to say and it, look it can be guiding it can be insightful it can be helpful but it's so important to find that distinction between what someone wants for you and what you want for yourself because those can be two very different things so don't let us sway you okay because some of you are being swayed by the opinion or the influence of others like you kind of want it but you don't really want it but you're only chasing after something that someone has suggested you do okay so make sure that you know realize you that your dreams are your own okay and your dreams aren't actually someone else's okay some of you really need to hear this um for some of you what happens is maybe you've had a, like some bad luck with dating or your loved ones keep reassuring you that you'll find the right person and they you know they might be encouraging you to keep trying okay Make sure you're pursuing the relationships you want to pursue. If someone is not your type or, you know, if a relationship doesn't feel right or if you don't even want to be in a relationship right now um, and you find being on your own is more fulfilling than pursuing relationships, then do what it is that you want, okay? This is your life and make sure you're chasing your dreams and not someone else's here. And this is why self-care is going to allow, like, turning your energy to who you are, to what it is that you want, is going to allow you to find yourself or find a way back to yourself. Because for some of you, you kind of seem a little bit lost. Okay, you've been going this way and that way. And you kind of seem a little lost. Um, make sure you're getting enough time to recharge from life's various sources of stresses. Okay, so make sure you're getting enough time. Um, you know, however time you need, you you might not know, if you're constantly saying busy, you might not notice that you're not giving enough attention to um, to yourself and your health. And, and what happens is you might not see it, but over time there's going to be unwanted changes in your physical or your mental or even your emotional health. Okay, so make time, make time for you, make time to recharge your uh, batteries to 
you know, give meditation maybe a go, read a book, spend two hours in nature, just do what it is that you want to do, not what someone else wants you to do for you. Also, guys, some of you need to just practice self-compassion, okay? The relationship didn't work out, you know, the business deal failed, um, you know, whatever it is here, you have to show a little bit, you know, show a little bit of compassion, practice self-compassion, show yourself that same kindness and compassion that you would, you know, to a stranger, okay? It's go easy on yourself, basically. Um... Spend time doing things that you love. Spend time doing things that you love, um, things that you enjoy. Because if you don't make that time, it can leave you feeling frustrated. It can leave you feeling emotionally upset and discouraged, even resentful and angry. Okay, so everyone needs the time to pursue their thing, their hobbies. And it's pretty rare, if you are in a relationship, it can be pretty rare that the two people, even if you're close, want to do the exact same thing every time, all the time. So make sure you find time, you carve out time for you and what it is that you want to do. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this channel. Do hit that subscribe button guys, it does help the channel to grow. Bye for now.